Hi there. Now, according to my YouTube analytics, uh, the highest watched video on my channel is the the uh, Sword Art Online menu Rain Meter tutorial, uh, which is something I put together in literally 30 minutes, and uh, is not very helpful in my opinion. But uh, I don't know. Apparently, you guys found it helpful, so whatever. So in the same vein, I'm going to. Um, highlight something that um I've made. So this is my background currently. Um let's just hide this for the sake of clarity. Uh this is a, this is my background currently of uh the best angel from Evangelium. You know I'm right. Um but you won't, you can't see it now because it's not actually playing any audio. So if I were to do some rather shameful plugging right now, Sing. yes, you, uh, this is actually a um, no. an audio visualizer. No. Uh, <clears throat> so th this is based off of uh, Vizbubble, which is already a very popular. Uh, rain meter audio visualizer. This little circular thing. Fuck off. Um. Yeah, it, it's the same sort of thing, but uh, there's multiple lines, and they're all for the different uh, sort of audio channels. I don't know how, quite how to explain it because. I'm not very good. Shut up, Jay. I'm not very good at. Or I don't quite understand audio very well, but y you you know what I mean. Um, and basically, it comes with a settings file, uh, which is settings to INC, which I will show you right now. So we're going to skins, and uh, it's got the settings to INC file. This controls uh, all of. This attribute, this sort of uh, the Vez bubbles attributes. So as you can see here, we can set the radius of it, and we can set the color of the the bars. Uh, this is in RGB format, and then the final one uh, determines the transparency of it. Now there is a there is a secondary item color which is if I go to variants, choose multi-line, and then wished that I didn't fucking close that video again, because now I need a fucking. Sa I need. I need... <sighs> right, so um, you will see. <laughs> Fuck, you you will see that there are actually multiple lines here. Uh, this comes very useful in particular to regards to, you know, if you're watching a movie with uh, surround sound audio, you'll see that uh, the lines will be much more different from each other. Uh, yep. Uh, this, the other variance comes with is a singular line, so it doesn't take into account the others. Shape bubble, which uh in which these sort of inflate I guess and shape extrude which just sort of I don't really know I don't really like it it just sort of bumps them out a little bit but now uh the reason you're here is because you want a sweet handy dandy visualizer uh of an AT field surrounding your best waifu. Um, this w this isn't a thing you can sort of download. I I made this myself, sort of, uh, and I will show you how. Oh dear. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, yes, this is the one. So this one. If I just close all of the other stuff that I have open. Uh, this one on the left is uh, uh, 
This one on the left controls the uh, one I have on currently, and this one on the right is the one that you will get when you download uh, VizBubble. Now, as you can see, uh, one of the main differences is the is the radius is now one instead of 256. This is because um, you can see there's only one shape here. So, um, well, yeah, there's only, there's only one shape. Um, the item color is a sort of orange that I just based off of a quick Google image search of AT Field because, uh, you know, the different colors in the rebuilds, they're like sort of rainbow-ish colors, which you can't really do, unfortunately, with this because it has to be one solid color, I think. Um, so I just chose the, the original Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, orangey stuff um f now now here this this two line these two lines uh for shape bubble or for shape extrude you can specify your own shape image and i have set it to be a custom one that i've made called uh, atfield.png which i will now open up eventually this bubble so atfield um Fucking wrong monitor, you cock. Ah! So, this. Oh, by the way, I'm using Honeyview because it's like a Windows Photo Viewer, but better. Um, anyway, so you may notice that it is actually white, and uh, that is because. Uh, it has just minimized everything. Fuck. That is because we already state here what color we want our shape to be. So if you just make it white. Uh, if you want to make, if you want to make your own, if you decide that mine is a pile of shite, you can you can do that in like Photoshop or something. Just make a bunch of hexagons and stuff. You should figure it out. Um, but yeah, it's set to it's set to uh, use shape uh, the um, the at field dot png as a base. Uh, the width of the shapes slash line slash bars. This because we've only got one. Hi guys, a uh, quick follow up um, because I just realized I fucked up. Well, I mentioned that the item width is one, change that to a zero because um, you'll notice that um, if I go around here there is an orange pixel because I set the item width to one so there will always be one pixel there. Uh, just, just instead, just change the, just change it to zero, and it won't appear. My bad. The number of shapes that that is set to one because it it just looked kind of weird if there was multiple eighty fields, I guess. Because you have to have them in a circle. That's basically what this is. So, uh, because we have a radius of one and one item. It just basically means that there's only one thing that moves out. Uh, the variation of max here is set to 600 because that's the size of the AT field that I made in the first place. And I think that is all the differences. Yes, it is. The rest of this you can just ignore, I guess. Um, especially all this. But, you know, if you want to do something else with this, you can. But I just decided to make it into an AT field. Oh yeah, by the way, you can actually completely fuck it up by changing the variant, so don't do that. Uh, so if I put it back in shape, bubble, and stop fucking around. Yeah. So it only works in shape bubble, unfortunately, but that's just the way it goes. So we just... <laughs> Hold on, I can't take this seriously. Ah! Uh, uh, oh, fuck, fuck it. This. No, no. Oh, yeah, Girl's Thing goes with everything, doesn't it? Yeah, the same sort of. Um. 
rain meter things apply so you can you can change the position so it's on the desktop or you could have it to stay topmost so you can do this but god knows why you would ever want that you can make it transparent ish but I mean it already comes with transparency anyway so that's not really something you'd want to do yeah you can hide on man at mouse over or you know all the all the same stuff and yeah that, that's that's your stuff so before you blow a whistle guys the, the it will be in the description my, or my settings that INC uh, unfortunately you're going to have to um, download Vizbubble yourself because I don't want to annoy or I don't want to piss off the Vizbubble creator as such so um, it, it'll be pretty simple so just download uh, actually because I have it downloaded what you would do is you would go to your Vizbubble where you downloaded it and put it in your rain meter uh, and just move copy over just copy over the settings dot INC as well as the AT field dot PNG which I will also put in the description below. And that's about it. Yep. That's it. Enjoy guys.